ancient healing arts with modern application for self-regulation, for uh, stress management, for healing, normalization of spiritual practice. Your thoughts are not thoughts. They're frequencies. And that there's nothing actually wooey hooey about this. It's, it's very much part of our physiology. And we live in a time when you can bring in a whole bunch of different modalities together. It's like a mm-hmm. chef that has studied all of these different cuisines and now is doing these fusions. And sometimes the fusions are the best. These practices are not limited to just a grouping of people with belief systems. Mm-hmm. This is part of our operation system as human beings. Yeah. Um, we all have energy that moves through us and we all have the capability to modulate that energy with the choices of what we think, of what we watch, of what we expose ourselves to. And when you do these practices, you're actually um, giving yourself an opportunity to uh, make more conscious decisions and also have more conscious awareness around why you are experiencing life the way that you are. So the best way um, we can just kind of jump into this, um, in my practice alignment coaching, alignment healing, the reason why I um, use that phrase is it is kind of a combination of um, Reiki, which is of Japanese lineage, Huna, which is of Hawaiian lineage, um, amongst other uh, practices, Mm -hmm. breath work, etc, etc. And it's a nice little combination just kind of tailored to the individual's needs. Um, but ultimately when I'm doing a healing on somebody, uh, what are we doing? (laughs) And that's what I want to normalize for you. So you understand that there's nothing actually wooey hooey about this. It's, it's very much part of our physiology, very much part of our bodies, etc. So if you haven't heard of chakras, okay, um, we're starting very, very basic. We're starting very, very basic. Um, these are energy points where we input and output all of our emotional experiences. So, I have kind of categorized this down again to modernize it. The upper three chakras, so throat, third eye, and crown, uh, these deal with the thought form. Okay, mm-hmm. these deal with. Uh, our unconscious mind, how we're seeing and perceiving ourselves, more or less the thought realm, the thinking mind, okay? Yeah. Um, both consciously and unconsciously. The lower three chakras, they deal more with physical reality. So mm-hmm. oftentimes um, your, your physical body itself will come up down here, um, how you're interacting with life, you know, the certain decisions that you're making, career path, all of these things. And then your heart is kind of the brain or energy energy that kind of unites the mind and the body if that Mm -hmm. makes sense so um i start there because this actually matters a lot um (laughs) your thoughts are not thoughts they're frequencies Mm -hmm. and whatever it is that you're thinking is going to bring in the emotional experiences that you're having you enjoying this so far did you forget to subscribe make sure to do so takes two seconds just press that little button Red one, you know, the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. So what you believe, you will see. What you are um, seeking, you will find, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. So it's just understanding that we do have, we actually do have a ton of chakra systems. I think it's like 42 like energy points in total. Even more than that. I mean, if yeah. you go on to like the acupuncturist, um, like every place where you can pop in a needle is pretty much a mini micro chakra. That's why it matters which way you turn the needle um, to either let energy in or let energy out. Mm -hmm. So those all have different points, you know? Absolutely. So if you think of that, you know. Case in point, another example of how and why this stuff matters. So, um, yes, so more or less what we do is when we open up the energy and what all that means is that we are, how do you normalize this? (laughs) You're going into um, somebody's emotional body. So actually the best way to explain this is we all have connective tissue. Um, Myofascia tissue, I believe is what it's called. And there actually are electromagnetic currents that move through the entire body, not just the brain. And your body stores memory. Your body stores physical experiences, emotions, etc. So when you're doing something like Reiki or prana healing, acupuncture, even massage therapy, these all fall into the same grouping of energy movement. Yeah, so energy yeah. movement mm-hmm. and also like it's a good to, to like going back on that to help normalize it. Mm-hmm. Like I don't think there's anybody that's watching 
or if you pass this on to somebody, feel free to share so that we can have a bigger audience here, you know. <laughs> um, but like if, uh, if your muscles are tight, you say, okay, you need to get a massage, you know, or you need to go get a chiropractic adjustment or something mm-hmm. like that. But we're energy, you know, our bodies are energy mm-hmm. and that there's constantly this energy that's flowing through us. And I think even an easier way of saying it is like, I don't know if you've ever been to like a child's birthday party or balloons have been around and you kind of rub your feet on on the floor and then you can shock people. Have you, has anybody ever had that? Or you oh, rub yeah. a balloon and you <laughs> shock people? Where's that energy coming from? It's a, you know, you're moving and then you're, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Uh, Christina is completely correct. You know, everything actually is vibrating. It's not solid matter. And so if you really were to break it down to nanoparticles, um, that is actually what we are. It's just the frequency is vibrating so fast that it appears like solid mass. Mm-hmm. Um, so when it feels like it, it feels like it, but in the truth, it's actually not. And that blows my mind every time, but it's not. So I'm not really sitting on this chair. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right, until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.